Essential to every water cube survey is an acoustic Doppler current profiler, or an ADCP. The ADCP is unique in the fact that it has the ability to collect three-dimensional water velocity profiles and depth spatially through a river from a moving boat. The next piece of equipment that we're going to use is a GPS. The GPS should be of differential quality or better. In some cases, it's helpful to use RTK corrections, which requires a base station on shore. A laptop is required to collect the data. A boat is required. The boat can be a kayak, can be a motorized boat, or a remote controlled boat. It's your choice based on the conditions that you want to survey in. When we're out on the river collecting data, it's important that we have adequate spatial coverage. We do this in two ways. First, we collect between 8 to 12 downstream lines, starting on one side of the riverbank and going in equal increments to the other side of the riverbank. In areas where we want to collect velocity and depth data in greater detail, we're typically going to add cross-stream transects, which actually form a crosshatch pattern, which we call a subcube. For more information on our data collection practices, check out our data collection white paper at our website, watercubedata.com.